Good morning guys, welcome to the last day in Bali slash paradise. Very upset to be leaving tomorrow morning at like 5am. I flight at 7 so it's going to be an early start. Um, one thing I haven't done actually this, this, this resort is get in this pool. And if I don't get in this pool at some point during this video, feel free to leave a comment saying something mean about me. There you go, free roam. But if I do get in the pool at some point in this video, you have to give this video a thumbs up. How about that? That's a good deal, I think, personally. Yesterday. Today we've got a little massage plan for one o'clock. We're gonna see the markets in the morning and then we're going to do like another tour of the south of the island sort of thing in the afternoon. So it should be an action-packed day and let's go explore some markets. It's hot today guys, probably the hottest day we've had so far and I haven't really caught much of a tan because we've like stayed in the shade. Um, but today is the day I try and tan and potentially even burn. Very relaxing. Oh, anyways, we're gonna have a massage and I'll catch you in a bit. Out of the massage, I feel amazing. They went quite hard. It was quite painful at certain bits, but because uh, I've got so many knots and like muscle scars, that uh, it was good for me to get it going hard and get all the knots out. And now it feels really good. And they ironed out some of my, my sores, which is good. We're now heading into the taxi and going on a little south tour of the island. So an hour journey down to Uluwatu is where we come first and it's an Uluwatu temple now unfortunately it's strictly no drones can you just imagine the drone here Stolen the sunglasses. He did warn us. <laughs> we were warned not to wear them, and a little baby's now crying. That's the monkey that stole the sunglasses. Trying them on. He's trying them on. Oh. He looks, he's like, what's going on? And this monkey here is on the hunt for something else. You were warned beforehand, leave your sunglasses, etc., in the car. There's monkeys about, and they will nick them. And what happens? A little boy wearing his sunglasses gets them nicked from. A reckless monkey. Always do what you're told to do, guys. So we've left the temple and now we've come to a restaurant for dinner, which was recommended by our tour guide slash taxi driver, and check out where we are, okay? Literally on the beach, watching the sunset. Could this get any more magical? Dinner has arrived, watching the sunset as you just saw, and one disappointing thing about this whole experience is I went to set up, I set up the drone, it was about to fly, got it in the air, and then beep, 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 strictly no flying, literally it landed it for me. I, I couldn't stop it from landing itself, it wouldn't let me fly again, because right over there is actually the airport. 
so that's one bad thing, you can't fly drones in this area, however you can take it in and what an incredible setting for our last night in Bali. Taxi ride later and we're back at the villa. Very, very tired. Our flight is in like eight hours. It's like we got to leave at 5am for our flight at 7.30. We fly from Bali to Singapore, then Singapore onto Heathrow. I arrive into Heathrow at like 7 o'clock in the evening and then that is on the Sunday. And then on Monday morning at 7am, I've got a flight to Russia. So it's non-stop for me. I'm not even going home. Uh, but yeah. There is one thing to do before I go into the outro of this video, and that is, of course, get in this pool. I know what you're thinking, Theo, it looks cold, but really, it's actually a sauna. Oh, oh, that was close. So, as I said, if I get in this pool, you've got to give this video a thumbs up. So let's do it. Anyways guys, it is now 5am, we are on our way to the airport to leave Bali and stop off at Singapore and now we head from Singapore airport all the way back to London Heathrow and 15 hours of flying later and one giant spot on my forehead we've arrived in London Heathrow Janine has left me, she's gone home my dad came, picked Janine up and dropped the stuff off that I need for tomorrow because I'm actually staying up in Heathrow today as tomorrow I'm heading off to Russia for a secret little project which we'll find out very soon of what that's all about but yeah, it is currently 10 o'clock at night, which means I've been awake for the last 24 hours. Managed to get one hour of sleep on the plane. So yeah, one hour of sleep in the last 24 hours. I'm pretty shattered, to say the least. Also picked up a bit of a cold on the plane, which is quite annoying. So I'm taking a bit of these, which I got in Bali. Some vitamins and paracetamol, like jazz. But if you have enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what was your favourite part of these little Bali mini uh, vlog thing series. And I'll see you in another video very soon. So until then, guys. I'll see you later.